Hello everyone, this is Bryant with Amusement Source and we are here at SeaWorld San Antonio and it is opening weekend 2020 here at the park. We're very excited to be here. Texas Stingray, the park's all new. Wooden roller coaster is open, so we're gonna check that out. We'll walk around the park, see what other improvements they're doing. I also hear that they might be working on their 2021 attraction already. So we'll give you kind of a construction update on that, see what we can find there. So let's head into the park. They just have an eagle out front that they're teaching everyone about. This is an eagle that they rescued that can't live in the wild on its own, which is one of the amazing qualities about SeaWorld and this company. Oh my gosh, so magnificent. Just walking through the pathways, getting back to Texas Stingray, and you can see that their Seven Seas Food Festival booths are already popping up. And on the sign there, you can see that this will run April 3rd through May 25th. Now, we did review this food festival last year. Super great, super phenomenal. Lots of fun, lots of really good food, so I highly recommend. We're definitely gonna try to be back out here for that. So we've kind of made our way over to the backside of the Sesame Street section, and you can see this big old chunk of construction happening over here. This is kind of over by this outdoor stadium where they do the steel shows. Uh, yeah, I, we have no idea what's going on over here, but um, you know, I think there's a few things circulating around, maybe something like Tigris. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. They're definitely getting a, an early start. And of course you can see uh, Texas Stingray there in the background where uh, we're just waiting. We can't actually go down this pathway yet. So we're just waiting and then we'll give it a ride. Hopefully very excited for this coaster. Just as we walk a little bit closer to the construction area, you can see these banners saying something big is coming, hashtag ride the tide. So quite interesting. And right before we actually get to Texas Stingray, which you can see in the background, there's more construction here at the Shamu Stadium. So I don't know if maybe they're just redoing the entrance, but it does look like the Orca encounter is still taking place. So maybe just doing a little refresh of the front of the stadium. Now we're coming up on Texas Stingray, which was a wooden coaster built by GCI. And it is billed as the tallest and fastest wooden coaster in Texas because as you know, the coasters that used to hold that record are now hybrid RMC coasters. There's people enjoying their ride. Of course they have on-ride photos. It doesn't look like it's quite open yet. But uh, I definitely want an on-ride photo from here. up here you have the station and as you can see these kids give it two thumbs up and then this kind of first portion of the queue line kind of winds and turns just like a stingray unless you just jump over all the flower beds but then you kind of make your way through here go down the stairs there is an extended queue over there then you just make your way up into the station which all of this is incredibly nice too I just wanted to point out um, and then of course when you're in that extended queue, you get a great view of the coaster. The extended queue is closed today, uh, just because it's not very busy. But if you're in that queue, you're going to get a great view of the coaster. The coaster also goes over uh, Rio Loco, which is their rapids ride over there. So if you ride Rio Loco, you come very close to the coaster. When you're on the coaster, it's so crazy, you don't really acknowledge that you just went over the rapids ride. So lots of fun. Uh, probably going to be riding this a bunch today. 
All right, folks, we just got off of Texas Stingray. Holy smokes, this is an action-packed, super fun family coaster. If any of y'all have been to Kings Island, uh, the closest type of uh, coaster I can relate it to is Mystic Timbers. There they go. And uh, just action-packed. It doesn't let up, but you know, it's still great enough for families, but intense enough for, you know, the more advanced coaster enthusiasts to really enjoy. So, big thumbs up. This is a fantastic ride. I would definitely go out of my way if I were you to come here and make sure to ride this. Of course, they have a, a few other really fun coasters here as well. Next up, we're gonna take a spin here on Steel Eel. folks we stopped off at my favorite place got us a sausage wrapped in pretzel and these things are delicious and then of course you can add on some sauce if you would like let's give it a try uh oh that was a task It's really delicious though. <laughs> All right, everyone, that does it for this trip to SeaWorld San Antonio. Absolutely fun new wooden roller coaster here in the state of Texas. Texas Stingray is phenomenal. It, uh, like I said before, it kind of reminds me of a Mystic Timbers type of deal, but definitely not the same kind of ride. There are some different elements. Park in general is looking great. It looks like they're already working on their 2021 addition to the park, uh, as you saw earlier in the video. So we're definitely looking forward to that and eagerly awaiting an announcement. Now, I know this video wasn't too in-depth. We had to make a pretty quick trip to get to SeaWorld. I'm not even at the park right now, but we just wanted to ride the new ride and let y'all know what we thought. Our next visit to SeaWorld San Antonio is actually going to be near the end of March. We're going to come back for the American Coaster Enthusiasts event. There's going to be ERT on all the rides, multiple meals. We're going to have some backstage tours. We're going to get a special gift. So I'm really looking forward to that event. SeaWorld is tons of fun, and to me, it's kind of like a hidden gem. They do have a handful of roller coasters, but overall, the park is just tons of fun. If y'all have any questions about Texas Stingray or SeaWorld San Antonio in general, please ask in the comments below. We thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon at a theme park.